Welcome to Cabomil News Daily. It's Monday, January 11, and the dollar gained some value for a second week in a row. It is now trading at 20 pesos and 7 cents, 17 Mexican cents more than what was seen on January 1st. It was a partially cloudy day in San Jose, and the forecast is that the low temperatures will continue during this week due to cold front number 27. And in the news, more than 8,000 COVID tests have been implemented by the private sector in Los Cabos. And leather backseat turtles are coming to lay their eggs in Cabo. So these are today's news. Julio Castillo, chairman of the COVID board in Los Cabos, said today that a little over 8,000 COVID tests have been implemented in businesses of the municipality of Los Cabos. This program, which is organized by the Business Coordinating Council of Los Cabos, is being implemented parallel to the policies of the Health Ministry of Baja California Sur, and it has led to the detection of 311 COVID cases. This would mean that in Los Cabos, around 3.8% of the workers who have been randomly selected at hotels, restaurants, and other businesses have been found to carry the virus. It is impossible to compare this data with that of other states or cities in the country, since this is a unique random COVID testing program in Mexico. The chairman of the COVID board also stated that all businesses, big and small, are invited to participate in this program. If you want to know more, please visit their webpage at consejocoordinadordeloscabos.org.mx. And in other news, a couple of leatherback sea turtles have laid their eggs in Los Cabos. This is some great news since leatherback turtles are an endangered species and not many baby turtles survive. Graciela Tiburcio, head of the Network for the Protection of Sea Turtles, recommended that if you see a leatherback turtle, you should not approach it. It's best to get in touch with the security personnel at hotels. So that's it for today. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more real news in real time on Cabo Mill News.